Are you over 50 and you don't know how to contour? I have some tips that might work for you. Yes, I know, I'm not over 50. But I am a makeup artist and I have a ton of mature clients and customers who actually have asked this question, so let's get to it. I'm 36 and gravity's not working against me a lot just yet. It's working a little bit, a little bit. Where I typically contour is just right here under my cheekbones. Now let's talk about if you're over 50 or you're noticing things be as high as they used to be. I'm gonna use this detail brush that has a flat top that's perfect for contouring. And instead of coming right underneath my cheekbone is I'm gonna come just slightly above. And that's going to give the illusion that gravity did not work her magic that we don't love. So it's just gonna put things back where they're supposed to go. You can see this contour is higher, gives me a higher cheekbone compared to my contour on this side. If you are in a family where your nose tends to get a little wider as you age, you're going to wanna keep your contour close together on your nose. This is just going to give it the illusion that's a little bit slimmer. One more little contouring tip, especially if you have lost volume here, which a lot of people tend to do as they age, contour, but then stop right before you get to the temples and use a lighter shade like this or even a pink pale shade and swirl some of that color into your temple. This one does look a little bit more full compared to over here because I did contour and shadow this area. One more little tip, you want to just keep those cheekbones really high. You can add your blush to the back of your cheekbones here. Lost fullness there in the front. You can also kind of bring that color forward and just pop it on the apples so that you have that lift, plus you have that fullness on your cheeks. Again, I'm a makeup teacher. I teach tips and tricks, people of all ages. Go ahead and hit the follow button if you wanna learn how to do your makeup.